Okay, um, hello Scorpions. How are you doing? This is Keeper Classy. Alright, I'm doing your weekly reading. Sit back, you guys. Enjoy the reading. Um, like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Alright. I hope I can help you guys. Subscribe. New viewers, subscribe. Thank you very much. Okay, so um, the only thing I'm hearing is somebody is wanting to make love to someone under the sun. Somebody wants to do some public love making with someone, okay? Because I'm hearing, let's make love under the sun. So either somebody wants to do this with you or this is how you want to be with someone, all right? Or maybe you just something you want to try, something different, Okay. Okay, so let's get, let's get the card started. Scorpio's energy. Let's see what's going on on the cards. Scorpio's energy. Hey, Scorpio's energy, please. Scorpio. Okay. Scorpio. Okay, wow. So this is the Six of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You guys always get the air sign. Every time I do this reading, three of cups, water, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy, strength card, Leo energy. We have the eight of pentacles, earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. We have the chariot, Cancer energy. The Three of Wands, Fire, Sag, Leo, Aries. The Four of Cups, Water, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. The Two of Wands, Fire, Sag, Leo, Aries. The Seven of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. The Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Nine of Cups is here water Pisces Scorpio Cancer and then we have the six of Pentacles okay Earth Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy okay so there's somebody who wants to move to better waters with you Scorpio this is an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius they want to reunite with you they want to reconcile Okay, they miss the fun you guys used to have. Maybe you guys used to party a lot, travel. They miss that. They want that back. Um, they're coming in with some um communication. This person's holding on to you. They're not they're not trying to release you. They want to move to better waters. But there's some communication communication coming in. Maybe they want you to forgive something they did. So they're gonna come in wanting your forgiveness. Um, Eight of Pentacles, this person is putting in some hard work to rebuild the stability or wanting to. That's between you guys. You could be married to this person. They want to rebuild the marriage. They want to work on it. They may come in. Um, they may come in with some communication where they tell you they want to um, want you guys to try um, marriage counseling, you know, to help move you guys forward successfully in the marriage um three of wands is here you may turn your back on this offer because you're feeling like it may be something better out there for you so you may turn your back on the offer or they already came into you with this offer and you did turn your back on it and they have been working hard on trying to rebuild things with you, but you just not, you turn your back on it, okay? Um, this may have been a difficult decision for you to make, but you feel it's the best decision you could make is move on from this person. Um, Seven of Cups is here. Oh, goodness. There's a lot of other options that you may see that's better for you out there. And you want to try something maybe new. You're tired of being stuck with somebody that um, is 
did you wrong. Whatever they did to you, you no longer want to be stuck with that person. You don't want to be stuck in an energy where it's negative. So you're just ready for a new beginning. The Nine of Cups is here. Okay? But they're still holding on to you. They still want the victory with you regardless. Um, this person, you know, or this is you holding on to this person. Maybe you're worried about losing stability, comfort, and your security. So that could be why you may be holding on. Or this is could be somebody you're dealing with. They're still going to hold on to somebody. Maybe this is somebody that wants to come in to you and reunite with you. Maybe they're moving to better waters from an air sign. Oh, okay. It could be them moving to better waters from an air sign coming into you wanting to reunite with you. Okay. Um, like I said, yeah. And, but they're moving away from a, a air sign. Okay, yeah, they're moving away from an air sign. And they're coming in to you, Scorpio, wanting to work on rebuilding with you. They're wanting your, your forgiveness, Scorpio. And they're, they're willing to put in the hard work to rebuild stability with you. This person could, yeah. Mm -hmm. They could be coming to expose some truth to you. So you guys could charge for it successfully. Something about a marriage. Maybe they're married to this, um, maybe they're married to this, um, air sign and they're going to expose some truth to you concerning the marriage. Yeah, they, maybe they're going to they tell, they're going to tell you that they turned their back on the marriage and offer a cup to you. And this is going to be a difficult decision for you because this person fed you illusions. Okay. They fed you illusions. They they continued to stay stuck in a situation with this air sign when they told you maybe in the past that they were wanting to move forward with you or something like that. When you wanted a victory, you were trying to get a victory with this person. You wanted all their attention, time, and stability with this person, but you couldn't get it because they allowed themselves to be stuck with an air sign. But now they're coming forward to you. Okay, that's what's going on. But the other one, that could have been for somebody, okay? Six of Wands. Yeah, now they want to charge forward in a victory with you, Scorpio. Yeah, now they want to give you all the time and attention stability they didn't give you in the past. Um... But this person is looking for equal give and take. So maybe they see that they can have that with you. The queen of pentacles. You're very nurturing. Taurus energy. You could have some Taurus in your chart. You could, you're very nurturing to this person. You're very nurturing. Like I said, they see you as their equal. They see them have, being able to themselves, being able to have an equal give and take with you. But they, 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 they're highly attracted to you. They love your style. You know. Again, they see you as their equal, okay? Um, you're very nurturing to this person. Stable. They, you're secure. You make them feel secure. Maybe you make them feel good in areas they don't feel good about themselves in. Nine of Wands. Because this is somebody that's been through a struggle, a mental, physical struggle. And you bring them out of that mental and physical struggle by nurture, nurturing them. You make them feel good. You uplift this person. Justice is here. That's why they want this victory with you. So this person may have to separate from something or, yeah, before you can move forward with them. Yeah, they have to end the cycle before they can even get a new beginning with you. They have to end something. They have to either divorce, separate. They could be married. This person could be married, okay? Because this is here, justice. They, need, they may need to separate or divorce before they could have a new beginning with you. They have to end that cycle. Okay. You could be dealing with a Libra or some of you. Five of Cups is here. Yeah, they miss you. They're inwardly conflicted or confused on how to end the cycle. 
Yeah. Five of Wands, they're confused. This person is very confused on how to end the cycle to get a new beginning with you. If you're in communication with this person already, um, maybe there's some arguments due to this. Maybe you argue with this person because of this. Because they're not getting out of us. They're not ending a cycle. They're allowing themselves to be stuck somewhere. King of Cups. Yeah, they're allowing themselves to be bound, stuck to a air sign. They're not, they're feeding you illusions that they're stuck and they're not stuck. They could end the cycle. They just refuse to lose something. They don't want to lose stability, comfort, and security that they have with this person. They fear losing that. But they do miss you. Okay? Um, the King of Cups is here. Um, they're going to continue to seek affection from you um, while in this situation with this person, okay? So I wouldn't allow this person to do this to me, come, come to me and seek affection and they're married to somebody else, okay? So the only thing you're going to be able to get out of this person is sexual gratification right now. But they do um, love you. They, they, yeah. You may see this person as very kind and loving, and that's what how they, um, it gets to you. That's how they break you down because they're so kind and loving. You know, that's how they, they could, they could. It's easy for you to open up to this person because they're, they're, you know, so loving and kind to you. But this is all they're seeking, you know. So this could be, yeah, they're still going to feed you illusions. They're, they're not getting out of the situation. Okay? It's sexual. King of Wands, they want their sexual needs fed. Even though they do miss you, there could be some guilt and shame here. Because they know what they're doing. They know what they're doing to you, um, Scorpio. Scorpio energy. Yeah, it's almost like they're using you. So they're going to come in and feed you illusions like they did in the past. If they did this to you in the past, they're going to do it again. Queen of Swords is here. Keep your guard up with this person, Aquarius. Yeah, this could be an Aries Cancer person. Or they could be some of you dealing with a Cancer, some of you dealing with an Aries. Keep your guard up. Use your intelligence. You're very smart. You're very strong. You can fight this person off. Um, not as cups. You may love this person. They're going to come in telling you that they love you to get what they want. Yeah, Pisces energy. They're going to come rushing in telling you that they love you to get what they want. Some of you, they may bear you gifts. Five of Swords um, is here. They may feed off of your insecurities or something of that nature as well. You just need to keep your guard up. Or this person could be insecure. They they could be feeling offensive to sense of defeat because how they, you know, did you in the past, fed you illusions. So they're planning, strategizing, how to come in with some type of offer so they could get you to open that door so they could get back in. Five of Pentacles is here. Somebody could be going through a financial struggle. So beware of that. Um, the King of Pentacles. And they see you in a nurturing light. They see you, you know, growing abundantly. They see you nurturing yourself, loving yourself. Um glowing they see you in a strong energy independent you know just enjoying life doing what you want to do and they're going to come back in yeah so this is what this person is doing be careful okay or this is you just focus on you focus on you nurture you love you continue to work on your abundance continue to grow abundantly continue to you know do what you do best. Be independent. You don't need nobody. Virgo energy. That's you. This is you. Okay? Until the right person comes along. Because this these persons, they coming in just to get what they want. Want and need. And they're, they're not looking at what you need. You know? And what you want. They're not looking at that. 
They're just going to come in feeding you illusions, pretending like they want to give you what you want or need. But you don't need nobody. You got yourself. Remember that. You're strong, abundant, independent. You need nobody. Okay? And I'm out. I hope I can help somebody give some clarity to somebody else's day.